Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Scott uh, Rossi. I'm on the uh, Committee of Correspondence for Occupy SF. Great. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty fun. What's a mobile op uh, occupation? Uh, the mobile occupation, it was our answer to the one of the questions posed during the inter-occupy strategy calls, mm -hmm. where they were trying to find a way we could get out into neighborhoods more and decentralize, because after Zuccotti was taken out, we realized permanent camps were a luxury that was probably going away. Mm -hmm. So we still wanted some form of occupation presence. Mm -hmm. So we came up, uh, two different groups, we came up with the idea together of uh, mobile occupations, pop-up occupations as we call them. So um, basically the whole, the whole premise behind it is uh, changes locations every few days. It works within the sit-lie laws of San Francisco. Um, and it allows us to, you to go to different neighborhoods. You know, there's one roving in the financial district. Um, Chad and Ben started the Castro one yesterday just spontaneously. They happened to be here and were like, hey, let's do a mobile occupation. So I just called in people from the internet and we started, uh, people just started congregating. Um, yeah. And it's basically just, it, it presents the, without having the issues of, of big camps, it's small, it's affinity group based. It's the, like the fresh, fun face uh, that people really want to see when they come up to us, because a lot of people they're looking—they're not looking to deal with camp issues. They're here for the, you know, the fact that there are people talking about the problems that everyone faces. And these are smaller occupations; they don't have to worry about, you know, the, the mentally ill or the people with substance abuse issues. These are people that are sitting down. You can have a, you know, you can have a roundtable discussion with everybody about how Eagle Bank of America is, or. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't know, some glass steagall act or whatever. I mean, it's really what, what people want to see. And, uh, you get a lot of uh, good conversations, too. There's a lot of uh, liaising that, that's done um, just because it's a smaller group. It's not as intimidating for people. What about um, the general public? How are they responding? Uh, we've had a really good reactions. We don't get the hecklers that Justin Herman was getting. Um, or even 101. I mean, it's a lot. We get a lot. We're smaller. It's just usually it's all grouped around a table, um, so we get a lot of support. Um, with the, when we were at Wells Fargo, the first pop-up occupation was at Wells Fargo at um, right across from the Fed when they had it all barricaded off. Mm -hmm. um, that one had a huge. We just got a lot of positive responses. Had some really good conversations with um, you know office workers, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And now here, this is our second night at, at 18th and Castro, and it's the same thing. We're out in the, the gay neighborhood, um, and they, all, you know, as just speaking as a gay person, a lot of other people in my community don't didn't think Occupy Wall Street mattered to them, mm. didn't, or that's even if they knew what it was. But this allows us to say, you know, you know what, your problems that you're dealing with are the same. I mean, granted, there's a whole sexual discrimination type thing based on our sexual orientation, but. The economic issues are all the same, and there's a lot of com inter-community economic issues. The ritzy gays that live on the hill versus and the young gays who can't afford to live in the Castro, um, and we're still expected to like you know treat this as some holy site. And so there's a lot of stuff that this the mobile occupation allows you to tailor it to particular neighborhoods too. Um, so we can speak, we can do a lot of speaking to that, and that gets a lot of public support too. So, so because of this kind of uh, different kinds of cultures within a culture, how do you feel about 18th and Castro? Is it like, what does it mean to you? What's its meaning? Well, really, I kind of like, I always try to find symbolism in things. So to me, this is very much the, the beating heart of at least North America uh, gaydom. <laughs> because um, everyone, it's like Munich in Germany. I mean, everyone wants to live in, every gay person wants to live in San Francisco just about or at least when you're younger, you think San Francisco's this promised land. Mm. I mean, when I first came here, I expected Castro to be blocks upon blocks upon blocks. And here it's like a two-block little, just mush. Mm. But in a lot of ways, even though no, 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 we're no, not the big gay capital anymore, it's this is still very much very important to the gay community. There's a lot of symbolism here. Har Harvey Milk and, you know, the human rights campaign, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. There's a lot of stuff that's important to the gay community as a whole worldwide. Um, that uh, started here, um, and a lot of history in, our, in, in this very intersection. So, um, and all that ties in, even though we like to kind of pretend that gay issues are in a vacuum, um, most gay issues are just part of problems as a whole, which are identif they're identifiable easily with Wall Occupy Wall Street. Yeah, a lot of people say, you know, what, I don't get Occupy, um, what's it all about? What do you say to people who say that? 
Wow, um, that's, wow, that's a really good question. Um, some of the stuff I try to say is um, I'm just... Uh, there's a few things that broke the straws that broke the camel's back, you know, like uh, the corporate personhood, money and politics. Um, the phrase I use is mouth pheasants, miss pheasants, and non pheasants of government. Um, uh, you know, there's a lot of that. The straws that broke the camel's back, but everyone's also here for their own reasons. But we all agree there's something profoundly wrong with society, and we don't have adequate forms to address it. And our lives are really regimented in such a way that it's hard to protest and it's hard to to get into a group which is why a 24 7 occupation is important because a lot of us work all day mm -hmm. like i can't join the saturday protest as much as i want to because i work all day mm -hmm. and i can't get off because i'm the weekend manager so it's like um and this this allows me the format where i can come out after work and i can say it's two o'clock in the morning and you know protest and have forums and talk to other night birds um mm -hmm. so it's it's really important it's like we we're occupying a public space it's like so this space you always have this space it's kind of like a, a chat room on the internet in IRL um, mm -hmm. so it's uh, you know you always have the space so if it's three o'clock in the morning and you're really angry about something Governor Jerry Brown did you can come down here and there's you know in theory there's gonna be a, a friendly smiling face for you um, and that was that was why it was important to hold Justin Herman mm -hmm. unfortunately we, we weren't able to do that so now we've moved on to the, the mobile occupations um, and now there's always a small you still have that small space, and it it allows the forum, um, and even the the whole thing about occupying too is that it just it's now it's not a matter of uh, what people are saying; it's that they're saying something mm -hmm. after being quiet most of their whole lives. You know, the fact that we've opened up a forum for discussion and we've we've made it acceptable to, that you, you know it's, if you're mad about something, it's okay to talk about it. You don't have to be ashamed, and you're definitely not the only one. You know, um, and I, I uh, that's definitely. That's really important. That's, that's why it's important for us to continue being visible. So the pop-up occupies are very successful, and mm -hmm. will there be a lot more popping up? You think it'll be like dozens, or I sure hope so. We're trying to um, get some of the people that are entrenched in 101, mm -hmm. but aren't happy there. Mm -hmm. We're trying to encourage them to do it because it's basically you do it around an affinity group. You find people you work well with that you trust, and you go out and pick a spot and just do it. You don't need approval from GA. You're, you're still part of Occupy SF. It's not like we're our own thing. We're all going to go to GA. Um, but it's uh, and it gives you a chance to kind of um, find your own your own space, and um, you don't uh, you, you can go out to like a, a neighborhood you might feel more comfortable in rather than the financial district, mm -hmm. um, or find um, you can sit there and. Like, uh, there's a couple people where it's like one, a girl and I always, we generally like kind of tag team. She's got the finance down. That's her passion, finance and economics. I almost, I know almost nothing except what I gleaned from the Zero Hedge blog. But my thing is like sociopolitical, history, that kind of thing. And that's so we, you can work really well together. You can find people that work well together. And that makes, you're, you're really dynamic. We're like a really dynamic duo. We can take on the CEOs that kind of come and think they're, they're all macho, and then it's like, no, you don't really know. <laughs> um, but it, I'd love to see more. Um, we've, we've put it out, you know, the committee correspondence that we uh, we started, but it's now where everything's kind of crazy right now. We're waiting for all the pieces to fall back down from the eviction. But um, we put it out on the net. It's been distributed. It's kind of catching on. This whole, it's going over Twitter right now, too, so we're hoping some of the other occupations that are in distress can pick this model up especially in California, because we have really generous free, uh, free speech laws. Maybe not, as, maybe not as generous as Berkeley or San Francisco, but definitely probably a lot better than New York City. Great. I don't know. It, it, I don't think it could work in all cities, <coughs> but because um, some, some cities, they make you, if you're going to do a free speech exercise all night, you have to be walking all night, hmm. <laughs> which is problematic. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a work in progress, just like all of us too so it's only in our first it's our first I haven't even revised any of the, the it's the first batch of rules mm -hmm. and this is the second only the second mobile occupation nice. so it's all it's all uh, still, we're still going through the motions learning things so, well great yeah it's pretty fun it's well, exciting yeah well thank you very much and have a great night yeah you too thanks sure